Let there be light. Oh, I don't know how to turn the lights on. Apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh oh. All right, take two. Oh. Maybe they just need to warm up. Come on, lights. We need lights today. Reinforcements have arrived. Yeah. We're getting power. This is the amazing Estella Grimm, who is letting us use her Steam and Dream Center at Richmond School. This is the principal of Richmond School, so thank you so much. You are so this is Mrs. Sarah Cooper, my partner in crime today. She's in charge of the Steam and Dream Lab and the Dream Lab and the Steam Lab. Oh my gosh. Would you fancy a high top? Would you fancy the couch? How about a bean bag? Either way you cut it, this is where we're working today. Oh my gosh, everybody. This is my new hair for training today. And this is my friend Leah, who brought me coffee. Hi. How, how does she look? Look at your hair. Oh my gosh. School, and we were working on publishing books, and I just figured out that they can put their book creator books into Seesaw. Yay! So they can share their book creator books with their families, which we haven't been able to do. All right, so teachers are creating math projects now. <laughs> we got a bunch of geoboard shape robots going on, and some number pieces. Look how we got some stories and a dinosaur farm addition problem going on. No, Love it. So we are posting all of our work samples to our primary Palooza Seesaw class. And there are some awesome projects coming in. Okay, so these are some of the projects. I started with a shape robot. And we've got number pieces, pick collage, pick collage, doodle buddy, do ink, number pieces, rocking the green screen. Okay, so I love how everybody is so focused on their work. They don't know that I'm Snapchatting them right now. This is Awi. Is that how you say his name? Aww. Do we know? Osmo Coding. First time out of the box today. Here we go. Oh my gosh, so it's like physical coding. What's the next step? You can do it. I know you can. Okay, so this is what happens okay. now. Now I need to make them go this way. So you just twist the I dial. Twist the oh, I need to take one off. Of All right, so when we come back from lunch, we're coming into the steam lab, and we're gonna explore Ozobots. And we have a station set up with some Osmos for Osmo numbers and words and tangram and masterpiece. Here we're going to be doing some still life paintings of these gorgeous flowers that we brought in this morning. Who doesn't love Legos? Time to create. We have the station set up with my brand new Osmo coating kit that came in yesterday. I'm so glad it came in time. Okay, and we have all of this stuff ready for maker space and some workroom to do it. Okay, and we've got a magnetic wall. And failed at that. <laughs> Part is my friend Sarah here goes, so what's the problem? I'm gonna try again. I had to analyze my problem. Fix the problem. Fix the problem, she said. I can do it. It's attempt number two. Less of an angle and a little bit of a catch basin over there. Let's see. And then I dropped it. Oh my gosh, I have issues. Okay, for reals this time. Here we go. I did it. And there it went. But I did it. Oh. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Time for a dash bulldozing. The school went for STEAM as our school wide initiative, and I thought, well, how do I balance that with teaching my kinders how to write their name and the things that they need to do? Keep exposure to it, but it wasn't, we weren't getting rid of all the things we know that they need. And she said, well, write up a proposal and a job description. And I did. And It arrived yesterday via so Amazon that, Prime. Out, um, there's some still life painting that you guys can use. Some Legos. If you want to here where anything in those drawers, if you want to build something, 
I have my light table and have a magnet wall, which is great. But we want you to also play. But okay, so exploring physics with Osmo Newton. I hear such good things about Colorado. All my friends get that have kids there. Yeah, my son's a junior there. I hear all right, Katie, your experience with Osmo Masterpiece is way better than my first experience with it. Mine was terrible. Okay, so what can you do with a tongue depressor? Why not make art? I love this. Okay, Jennifer, your math skills are awesome. <laughs> Practicing a little addition with Osmo numbers. Mary's working so hard with her Osmo Tangram. There it goes. Yay. Got all the points. Way to go. Okay. Osmo words. Osmo words. So slide them out of the way. And what is, does it reset? There we go. Okay, the Osmo words battle is on. Red versus blue. <laughs> These teachers found the magnetic wall. Getting crazy. All right, get ready for this. Watch tornado. I'm so in love with this tongue depressor art. I want this amazing teacher, Sarah Cooper. you're going to explain yes. what students happen so hang so, on we got to start a new one time's gonna so what did they do so I put out Sharpie paint pens and the kids got to decorate one stick each and at open house families got to decorate as well I'm so 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 impressed with all these still lifes and look at this somebody got crazy creative and made this adorable crap that moment the fire alarm starts going off and you leave the steam lab uh. The last part got crazy busy with a fire drill, but we had an epic day of learning. And this little lady, thank you Hi. for everything.